everyone, Yannette here from Lusa Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to create masks for your planner covers and pages. Um, this is actually a very simple process. Uh, it just takes a little bit of tweaking at the beginning to create a template, but once you have that, you can go back and use this over and over and over again without having to repeat the whole process. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the planner page that I want to mask. In this case, this is my Lisa Noir. And I'm just gonna take a screenshot. I'm gonna go back to Procreate, and in my actions here, I'm going to insert a photo, go to my camera roll, and select the picture that I just took. And there we have it, this is a start. Um, so the first thing that we wanna do is select this area of white in my page, because that's the area that I want covered. So we're gonna go to the selection tool, and we're gonna click on the white area of our page. Now, as you can see, this pretty much selected everything that I need. However, if it happens to where it's selecting your entire page, all you need to do is put your pencil down on your screen and slide it left to right, depending on where the threshold is, and we can clear this and do it again so you can see how much it selects. So if we go lower, it'll select less and less each time. As you can see, it only selected this one page now. So if we go back up, it'll start selecting more. So it selects the entire page, which we don't want. But this right here is about a good point where it's selected all the white for me. And if you do have um, a couple of little bits and pieces here and there in the center, like particularly this one right here, where I have the staples, I will have some spots there that won't be selected. We can easily go back with a brush and fill it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this color to black and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. Now that I have the page selected, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna click on it to get the options and I'm gonna fill this layer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hide this just so I can see uh, what I'm doing and as you can tell I have a couple little spots where those um, staples were so I'm gonna go and cover those up with my brush it doesn't seem to be wanting to do those hmm. no, there we go okay so now that I have this this will be my template now I'm gonna go ahead and change the color uh, just because the black background, when I mask it, it's going to give me a darker color than if it was in white. So I'm just gonna select, fill my layer, and now my template is white. This, you wanna go ahead and save it. I'm gonna name it Lise Noir Page. So that way I can always come back to this template and simply add a new texture, add a new background, add a new color, um, and I don't have to do the whole selection process and filling in all over again. Okay, so now we're gonna create um, what's gonna be overlaid on this um, template. So I'm gonna create a new layer, and I'm gonna go to my colors, and I'm actually gonna select these colors. We've, um, we're doing a challenge right now in uh, Lucid Pen, Creatives uh, Facebook group and we're using these colors to create a layout and it is a challenge the challenge is to use only these colors so it's been a lot of fun and if you'd like to participate head over to Lucid Pen Creatives Facebook group and join in the fun at the end of it we're doing a, um, a giveaway to the winner uh, for a sticker set from the shop okay so now that we have this background created all you need to do is select it and always make sure that this background is above your template for this to work properly. So all we're doing is selecting it, our options pop up and we're gonna hit clipping mask. And this will automatically get cropped and clipped onto the template below it. Okay, now we can leave it like this and save it. And this is actually what it would look like on the planner. Or if you want if, it, if this was a darker image and you wanted to maybe change the opacity and lighten it up a little bit so that you can see the texture on the page and maybe the staples um, 
what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this so that way I don't lose my template and I'm going to merge these two layers and go here to my opacity and I'm just going to lower the opacity on that so that I have a very light effect of this color. And now, as you can see, this is how it would look on my planner. I could still see the, the texture of my paper. I could see the staples, but I still have that pretty um, color on my background. And again, all you have to do is put the opacity back to full and you will see the full effect of those colors. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave it a little opaque so I can see it, so I can see the, the effect of my page on it. And all I wanna do is just go ahead and make everything else transparent so that I can save this as a PNG. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna to go to share, PNG. I'm going to save this to my camera roll. And now I can go back to my planner and let's go to pictures here and GoodNotes 5. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. Oh, and there it goes. So now all we have to do is click on this and crop it. Just get as close as you can. Done. And then it's just a matter of resizing it until you get it to where it needs to be. And it's almost there. Not quite. There we go. Perfect. And there you have it, a masked um, planner page. Oh, thank you for loading good notes. Um, so that is pretty much it. it is very simple. Just make sure that you save this canvas as a template for your layers, uh, for your masks and your covers. And you can always just go back and follow these easy steps to mask um, your planner pages and your covers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it is very helpful for you. Please do not forget to subscribe so you can be notified when more tutorials come out. Bye.